Sí. This is an induced dipole, an ion, and a neutral atom. Before, you can see the positively charged ion is approaching the neutrally charged atom, and the after picture shows that when this ion is close to the neutral atom, the electrons of the neutral atom are attracted to this positively charged ion, inducing dipoles on the neutrally charged atom is a negative dipole on the side of the electrons and a positively charged dipole on the other side of the atom. And note that only the electrons are moving in an induced dipole. The nucleus does not move. The now created induced dipole on the second atom creates a induced dipole on the next atom and an induced dipole on the next atom and so on and so forth, which creates an attraction between these two objects. Induce dipoles between two neutral atoms. Before, as you can see, we have two neutral atoms, and within these atoms, the electrons are moving really, really fast around the nucleus. After, you can see that for a moment in time, the electrons on one side of the atom are more plentiful than the other side of the atom. This induces a momentary dipole on both of these atoms, creating a force of attraction between them. After, after. The dipoles only occur for a brief moment, and after the electrons in the first atom return to being more evenly distributed, all dipoles disappear, which is why this is a momentary dipole. see the balloon is stuck to the wall. The reason for this is because when Andrew rubbed the balloon on his head, it charged that balloon. It gave it power. And as it stuck it to the wall, the electrons, depending on the charge of the balloon, whether it be positive or negative, the electrons in the wall move the other way, creating this sort of attraction force meaning that it just sticks to the wall, which is pretty darn cool and great for magic tricks at birthday parties. An example of induced dipoles with an ion and a neutral atom is with Spider-Man. As his fingers approach the wall, using Marvel magic, he creates an induced dipole by making his fingertips be positive, which creates the dipole within the wall with the wall atoms making the electrons in those atoms approach the fingertips as you can see in the pictures creating the dipole on those neutral atoms which creates that attraction between his fingers and the wall. But don't take it from us. We're rolling! Spider-Man, Spider-Man, <laughs> stick to the wall, Spidey, there's no time for sun tanning. Be the bright, he arrives just in time, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, welcome fame, he's ignored, action is his reward to him, life is a great big pain, wherever there's a pain, you'll find a Spider-Man. Stand up here. This is a good action shot here.
How does he stick to that roof like that? Can you tell us, Spidey? Do stifles. Ooh. Look at that one. Look at that one going down. <laughs> can your butt stick to it? Of course it can. How does it do that? Induced Whoa! This is... Oh, <laughs> God! Oh, the pain. Yeah. Induced dipoles. Sticky. Yeah. <laughs>